Ye has released a trailer for his upcoming Vultures album featuring an AI generated music video. So today I'm going to recreate that music video and show you the steps I took to do it. Let's get started. If you haven't seen the Kanye video yet, I'll show some of it here, but if you want to see the full thing, you can Google Kanye Vultures trailer or check the link in the description I'm going to leave. My remake will be played at the end of this video side by side with Kanye's video. This video was created by a Canadian artist named John Rathman, whose artistic style leans towards, well, very heavily into grotesque, bizarre, and digital images. My plan is to storyboard out this video with images made in mid-journey. And then I'll also use a little bit of ChatGPT, and at the end I'm going to animate those images using Runway Gen 2. If you've never created images before, the easiest way to get images in the style you're going for is probably to start with ChatGPT, which uses Dolly 3 to create images conversationally. You do need to have upgraded to a paid ChatGPT plan to use this. The way it'll work though is just plain English, so you can just describe the image that you want and it can be as simple or complex a description as you want it to be. You can even have a back and forth conversation until it comes out looking the way that you envision. Midjourney is what I use. If you've never used it before, Google Midjourney Discord and follow the steps to get set up. On the left side, once you're in, there'll be a newbie channel section and you just click on one of those and then at the bottom center, look down and you can type backslash imagine into this prompt line area and start describing the image that you want. The images will start generating and appear in that newbie channel when they're ready. When recreating a still from the video, we need to be able to tell Midjourney what's happening in it. My prompts for this remake were kind of advanced. You don't have to do it this complicated, but you can hopefully learn a couple of little tidbits as you look at mine. They follow a very specific cadence. So first I describe the subject, and I'm using the word silhouette a lot to ensure that it has strong shadows without facial details, like this cinematic video that was made for Kanye. And I describe the clothing, mentioning he's standing on snow, and just really kind of outline the mid-journey what the subject looks like here. Once the subject's been described, I get into the landscape next and start with a description of that. Anything I see from the video, I try and put into a short phrase. And finally comes the detail and the photography terms that get certain aesthetics going. So I probably have too many here, honestly, but playing around with them is important for figuring out how to get a similar look. In Midjourney, you can give it a reference image. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. I'm going to skip it for now. And then last here is the parameters, which control different aspects of the image. So in your prompt, you just put dash dash followed by what you see here. And the no parameter helped me ensure no buildings popped up. Style raw makes it lean more towards realism versus art. And AR 16 to 9 gave me a widescreen aspect ratio. V6 used Midjourney's newest image model, which is version 6. Stylized 350 was a setting of how much artistic detail I wanted added. And this is a setting from 100 being the default and 1000 being the max. So you've seen a few ways to get something that fits in with the original video here. Sometimes your results won't look enough like the original image and this is when you want to use a reference image. So all you need to do to get that reference image going is drag and drop it into Discord. Once there it's just going to show up and then you're going to click it, right click it and choose copy image address. Now you have a link and you just paste that link into the start of your next prompt and Midjourney will try and copy a lot of elements of it depending on your image weight scale. In this example, I use the parameter dash dash IW2 because two is the highest setting. It means I want it to very closely copy the original image because I'm doing a remake. So this ultimately is the trick for images. Prop well and provide good for reference images and you'll be able to do a remake of pretty much anything out there. I won't spend time on this, but if you get images that aren't quite all the way, you can take it to Adobe Photoshop, which has generative fill options, and I use that to fill in some letterbox parts here. But I could also choose different parts of the image itself and change them. Once you have an image, you'll want to animate it. Runway Gen 2 is what I used because it gives you a lot of control over the camera movement. So you can take your image from Midjourney or Dolly 3 and just drag and drop it right in here or click to add a file. And at the bottom is camera motion. In a lot of VA's video, the camera zoomed in and this is where you can really try and match the movement in the shots using Runway. You have the option of Runway as well to click generate on the image or to add a description. Descriptions can help you do specific things but also result in some unwanted side effects so be careful with it. 
Runway has a motion brush, which is brand new, the multi-motion brush. And this lets you control what exactly moves in a scene and a little about how they move. So you have five brush tools at the top right. You select one at a time and just draw over the objects. And then you can apply different motion settings for each brush fill that you've done. This made it a lot easier for me to match movement of the original video shots, as you're gonna see when we do a side-by-side -side comparison. The very last thing to note before I show the video is that you can use post-production effects to compensate for AI tools here. So for example, the Burning House did not have the desaturated pink tone or look of the original really. So to make a video, you'll use the video editor naturally. CapCut is a free one you can use. I'm using Final Cut Pro. And they all have ways to change the color grading and other aspects of the footage. And these are things that you can Google and learn how to do uh, for those specific video editors. So now I'm going to show my video with a side-by-side -side with Kanye's. Like we 